Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo. This is Jedi. I wasn't sure if this was going to work, but it did work. Yay! It's been a day of live stream. This is like my third live stream of the day. I was live on Maker Deck earlier. I, uh, that was awesome. Had a, an interview with more and more. I was live on my YouTube uh, tech channel as well, uh, teching out with folks. And then uh, tonight, now, here for Serial Time. And today, we're going to have some Hocus Pocus. So, F Hocus Pocus Alamogocus. Y'all remember that? Yeah? Jedi is headbanging. She's just, she's a headbanging kind of girl, although she doesn't really listen to that music. So, this is a family size. Big one. The funny thing is, I've never, I have never seen Hocus Pocus. Maybe we can watch that tonight. Hey, Diana. Hey, you want to watch Hocus Pocus tonight? I just thought of that. I'm going to see if we can watch Hocus Pocus tonight. Do you want to watch Hocus Pocus tonight? We should watch Hocus Pocus. I've never seen it. Can you believe that? Can you can you believe it, Mad Cat? Because now there's two Hocus Pocus. Hokai Pokai. Wouldn't wouldn't Hocus wouldn't 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 two Hocus Pocuses be Hokai Pokai? Hang on, I, I gotta tweet that. Focus, focus. I'm being silly. Hello, Papa Bear. First one's awesome. Second one is Disney. Yeah, that's that's Disney. Hey, Maker Viking. So we're trying some uh, Hocus Pocus cereal, family size, whatever the hell that means. Um, I almost got the total was on sale for like half off, but it was like three bucks. I'm like, cereal inflation hit cereal hard. Well, Idle Hams, this is the Hokey Pokey. There. You like that, Idle Hams? Oh my god. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna get dizzy. After I pour the cereal, and I'm as I'm eating the cereal, uh, I I'm going to I'm gonna turn on some vintage commercials. We're gonna watch some vintage cereal commercials together trip down memory lane instead of you watching me eat cereal we're gonna we're gonna watch some cereal co commercials together then and i'm gonna i'm gonna interrupt my bamboo it is currently printing a 200x uh i'm sorry 200x 2x or 200 percent uh uh cali dragon because i'm running through the uh, the the bamboo uh, filament that they sent w when they reset the printer so i'm gonna be printing 200x uh, Cali dragons for Halloween because I figure some kids, you know, oh, especially the younger ones. I'm like, here, take this one. It's it's big, but like, you don't stick it in your mouth, kind of thing. They might enjoy that. All right, I've got my cereal. I'm gonna pour the milk. I'm gonna start the video. Let me know about the volume because it may because this is gonna be. Remember, this is gonna be on, uh, uh you know, cast through. Um, it's the, the volume is gonna be up and down. Is what I'm saying. Ah, uh, Cruise Beast, Beast, thank you so much. Yes, we subscribed for 34 months. Hello You're awesome. World. 36 months we go. Have a no heat stream, Chris. Thank you. I hope not. It's it's rainy here. I tell you what. Um, so there's a shout out to Cruise Beast, one of the one of my longtime supporters. Uh, I've got his his illustration of me with a vlogging lens across the way. It's buried right now behind some Vader, so I'd knock everything over. Uh, but Chris is absolutely worth a follow here on Twitch. If you're also interested in gaming and geeking out, he is your man. Uh, not heat. Oh, good, not heat. Well, well that's weird, but okay. Theoretically, this is going to work. I like I like uh, like saying theoretically because sometimes you don't know. It did not work. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. There we go. Now it's three, two, one. Boop! It worked. Okay, now volume made me bad. That is loud. Can you hear it? Okay, wait. Some waffle cereal, Bill. Try these crunchy little critters. They now can you hear waffles with maple syrup flavor? Waffle is a delicious part of this nutritious How about breakfast. that? Why do they call you Messy James anyway? Mm -hmm. Is that good? Let's try that. Waffle cereal. 
Okay. Like we don't want it too loud. Or you don't want it too loud. Trust me on this. Total! I was just talking about total! Of the recommended daily Good at the other level? These nine vitamins like that? And iron. Chris, okay. how do you think one ounce of your raisin bran will compare? Uh, well, total's really I don't know! But I think it, my raisin bran will be the commercial pretty close. Was talking to me! Let's compare. It was... The commercial was wow, talking to me. It's much higher. Did right. you hear that? 100% of Chris, these nine vitamins and iron. It iodine. knew. That's quite a difference. Now it's too That's loud. That's the total difference. Well, Idle Ham says it's perfect. We've assembled this distinguished panel. See, now it's too quiet. The problem is the levels are going to be all over the place, Papa Bear. They certainly look like little donuts. donuts? But they say Do I remember the donut cereal? Dinky donuts is a delicious cereal. Dinky donuts? I don't know if I remember. Barely remember that. The, the, the volume is going to be all over the map. Because uh, they, they basically sampled from like a billion files. A billion VHS tapes. Some of them are going to be too loud, some of them are going to be too soft. Mmm. Mmm. I love the crunchy wheat taste of Kellogg's mini wheats. But the, but the kid in me agrees with the little kid in me. The whole grain shredded wheat side to me is quite superior. The light frosting, this is my girlish interior. Kellogg's regular and apple frosted mini wheat cereal. These are like fruit loops. This nutritious breakfast. Wheat. For me, the or corn flour blend. Mini wheats is fitting. Nice. But the frosting's good too. And I'm not kidding. Catch Lucky! He's got Lucky Charms! They're magically delicious! Whoops! I'll make a wrap. And float away with my Lucky Charms. The crunchy oat cereal with marshmallow surprises. Pink heart, yellow moon... Mad Cat, we've lost a lot over time. And blue diamonds. No red balloons yet. Where are your Lucky Charms? Right here, my friends. They're part of this good, nutritious breakfast. Lucky Charms! They're magically delicious. They're magically delicious! The Kingdom of Half. Well, Havesies? How do you like my kingdom? Of what was this one? Fun. You know what we like best? A ride in my half balloon? No. Has to be mm. the half day school. This is even better. They're Fruit Loop-ish. My crunchy, but, sweet, like, new corn, not as nice flavorful cereal. as Fruit Loops. Sweet, not as fruity as Fruit Loops. Like, mm. how does it taste so sweet? That's my secret. I don't know about this one. Agree. No, sweet fancies are mine. <laughs> no. But, you know, it's Halloween, so. I don't care. I'm halfway there. Half a bridge. Whoa! Nice work, kid. Anytime, King. For new halfsies. It was halfsies, you okay. These are a crunchy sweet part of this balanced breakfast. Now you There was another Quaker commercial that was really good. Or, uh, sorry, cereal. commercial. Uh, cereal that was really good. Not halfsies, though. I can't remember what I remember. Boxes of new I remember the texture. I remember the shape. I remember the flavor, but I can't remember the name. Isn't that funny? Jay is for Jax. Apple Jacks made with real apples. An apple sweet part of this complete breakfast. Apple Jacks is the name. Apple sweet takes its claim to fame. Fun to eat an apple sweet. Kellogg's Apple Jacks. Captain, we're under attack. No, we're oh, under you're lucky, a new Chris. Cereal. I don't think we did. I took Captain Crunch cereal and added chocolatey crunch pieces for mm. our great chocolatey taste. Oh. It's Might have tried that once. Crunch. Oh, boy. After that, uh, whatever. There it is. Where? Across the bottom of the mm -hmm. seat. This cereal loses its flavor quickly. <laughs> Give us our Choco Crunch. Nope, nope, nope. Please, then we could play together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, now what? I could have some Choco Crunch. You saved us, Mr. Choco. Choco. Now, where's a bowl for you? Oh, and now where'd he go? <laughs> Chocolatey Crunch and Crunchy Crunch taste great together. It's chocolatey. New Choco Crunch. Part of this complete breakfast. Yeah, yeah. After many years, Captain Crunch has returned to mysterious Crunch Island to search for the Crunch Island treasure. Wow! So we gotta find There's it. Crunch Island treasure us over Mount Crunchmore. Captain Crunch Daddy. movie. Don't. You know that's gonna be a trend, dude. Oh, no worries, Chris. Totally understand. Thank you for hanging. And thank you for resubbing. It's appreciated. 
Much better without milk. Oh, I'll say that. This is definitely and 80s. Definitely 80s. Now from Captain Crunch cereal. A map from Crunch Island. Plus Look seven stickers there. of the Captain and crew. Where can we go now? Let's take the Captain to the Lost City. One map and sticker set in specially marked boxes of Captain Crunch. When cereals used to come with awesome this pirate Cheerios. Is all pooped out. Cheerios. Why you run out of energy so soon? He didn't fuel up. What? With a good breakfast. Cheerios. Like this good, nutritious breakfast with toast, juice, milk, and tasty Cheerios, which have almost no sugar. When you fuel up in almost the morning with no a sugar. Cheerios breakfast, it'll really keep you yeah, digging. Kids, uh, we always added the, the sugar. What was the point? Cheerios. With my no worries, Liz. Kit, those little kids won't make me go We're just chilling and watching some cereal. retro commercials here. Munchy, crunchy, chocolatey, I got my, um, part of this these I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my, um, Gee, we're sunny. Not here. This together. Philadelphia. We thought he'd like a bite of Puff Puff Cocoa Puffs. Chocolate tasting Cocoa Puffs. Munchy, crunchy, crunchy, chocolatey. Cocoa Puffs, yahoo! Puffs, 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 those bratty kids. Hello, Steven. Kids, cookies for breakfast? But we love cookies. Well, why didn't you say so? I remember the wizard. Oh, you can't have cookies for breakfast, but you can, but you can have, have cookie crisps. Crisp. You can have that crunchy cookie taste with lots of chocolatey chips. Looks like little cookies. But it's a cereal and part of a complete breakfast. So just remember this. No, you can't have cookies for breakfast. But, but you can't, can't have cookie, cookie crisps. Crisp. Cookie crisp cereal. You can have cookie, cookie crisp. crisp. All aboard! Wait for me! Oh, the pops! Yeah, the, the pops were! And with a popping suitcase! I'm popping. I, I, I hate it when coin pops. They're just the cereals the changed taste. mascots. You can try well, if it doesn't take too long. Kellogg's Sugar Coin Pop Cereal. A popping Drives good me nuts. part of this nutritious breakfast. Mmm, delicious. Poppy, I wouldn't miss these for anything. Even for I play? Donkey Kong. See, I don't remember if we had the Donkey Kongs. I'm gonna jump. You're gonna this is definitely eighties. Yeah, Cruise Beast. Things are definitely different now. Radically different. Ain't, ain't, ain't what it used to be for sure. Steam Pool, hope you're doing well. Hope all your makes are amazing. I mean, they usually are. Quick, to the formula. <laughs> the formula makes Kellogg's Frosted Flakes a delicious part of this good breakfast. I have some Frosted They're Flakes yet. Think they learned a lesson, Tony? The thing, I, I, I was walking through the grocery point. store and I saw... Now uh, inside specially marked packages of Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, you Frosted find flakes. a free diving submarine or free circling rescue boat. You have to put it together and add baking powder. That's the, the free same guy boat or submarine. There, who sings the... You're a mean one, Point, Mr. Grinch. Point, same guy. Yes. More important, it's a great way to transport the. And when you watch for the Grinch this year, listen. You're a mean one, quick, Mr. Grinch. Same guy. The formula makes them a delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. The formula. Oh, we gotta get the formula. Uh, that's the thing. It's all about the formula. Think they learned a lesson, Tony? I say they got the point. <laughs> I love the crunchy wheat taste oh, of Kellogg's And we're on to repeats. Wheat, but the frosting side agrees with the little kid in me. The whole Can't eat those anymore. Side to me is quite superior. They the use gelatin for the uh, frosting, interior. unfortunately. Kellogg's regular and apple frosted mini wheat cereals. Part of this nutritious breakfast. Pop tarts and the uh, mini wheats. Every so often you find like a, a vegan, a vegan version of, of each. But I'm never like hankering. What's wrong? They left without breakfast. 
breakfast again. What are you serving? Beans, what else? Yeah. How about fruit this flavor? One, yeah. Fruit? That's different. Come follow my nose. Got a nose different. Yeah, it's always nose. Whoa, Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal. With natural orange, lemon, and cherry flavors, and a full day supply of vitamin C. See, that's C. what this cereal it's tasted like. Breakfast. It tastes like Fruit Loops. Well, kind of. I haven't had Fruit Loops in years fruit either. Loops my brand. Because, uh, hungry? Hungry as uh, a they gremlin? use, ooh, gremlins. Gremlin cereal. Uh, I, I, and, uh, um, gremlins is a deliciously sweet, Sorry. crunchy cereal that Wait, satisfies the hungry um, little gremlin. I, I, uh, I got, uh, they're hydrogen, they use hydrogenated oil. Which I gremlin cereal is part of this complete breakfast. Gremlin, yum, yum. That's Lucky. He's got Lucky Charms. They're magically delicious. Always have to be Lucky Charms. The crunchy old cereal with a rainbow of marshmallow surprises. Pink hearts. It's funny to watch the trends in some of these. Green clovers and because, like, you'll notice as, as time goes on, they get more 80s. Like, robots start appearing and video games start appearing in these commercials. Robots were popular. Remember that? They're magically delicious. Lucky. Lucky oh, I'm glad you used the uh, the high, the Maker Deck high, because M Deck, Idle Hams, thank you for bringing that up. M Deck is the new uh, prefix. M Deck, and then the emotes is the new uh, Maker Deck uh, prefix. So we, we cut it down by quite a few letters, quite a few characters. M Deck. You know me. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Magically suspicious. Oh, there we go. Looks nothing like Pac-Man. With marshmallows. I wonder this must have been. I mean, obviously it was separate from the cartoon series, different company, different brand. I wonder how they they handled that with licensing. Part of this nutritious breakfast. With marshmallows. Delicious. Oh, morning, kids. It's a Pac-Man day with my crispy corn cereal coming your way. It's Pac-Man. With marshmallows. Delicious. I'm Inky. I'm Blinky. I'm Pinky. I'm Fly. With the marshmallows, you'll find inside of Pac-Man. There goes a pac pac oh. and Inky, too. Mm -hmm. He's Marshmallow. You can chop him, too. In Pac-Man. Part of this nutritious breakfast. It's Pac-Man. With marshmallows. Delicious. Oh. Okay, it, hit it, Becky. We're oh. all yours. Uh-oh. Aren't you I thought this was a McDonald's it? commercial for a second. I kind of forgot it. How about having a bowl of Rice Krispies and we'll give you a hand? How about a foot? It's fun to put that crackle pop into your morning. Now I remember. Kellogg's Rice Krispie cereal. Part of this complete breakfast. Into your morning. Guess I got too keyed up. <laughs> Wake up, guys. We got work to do. Rice Krispies. We do. Well, I've Not the most fun the cereal, but... And we've got to get out the breakfast edition. What's it say? Snap. Pop, 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 talking just to you. you. Sounds good. Oh, Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the talking part of this complete breakfast. Snap, crackle, pop, pop, Rice, Rice Krispies. Krispies. Yeah, unfortunately, hey, the, guys, the snap, neat? crackle, wow. pop, the sounds hey, are the most interesting part of Rice Krispies. <laughs> One's free inside Rice Krispies. Because the flavor... It's pretty. It's kooky. Without without sugar or honey. Yeah, the flavor. Not great. Oh, it's the grumpiest pirate afloat. We're supposed to cheer him up. There, who goes there? Snap, crackle, pop, sir. Stay to business, mates. To put fun into your morning. What be fun? Kellogg's Rice Krispie cereal. It's fun to put snap, crackle, pop into your morning. Part of this complete breakfast. <laughs> A talking treasure. Sir, where do pirates hey, come from? Hey, Pittsburgh. Where else? <laughs> They're best in treats. I agree. Haven't had one of those in years either. I love Smurf Berry Crunch cereal so much. Oh, now I this one I remember. To double production. Smurf Berry Crunch is fun to eat. Oh no! 
What's Smurfing on? Candy made us work faster. I well, that's that. Smurfing Mother Wait, Smurfer. What do we do with all this delicious Smurf Fairy Crunch? Eat it, of course. Smurf Fairy Crunch, a very Smurfy part of this nutritious breakfast. Oh, Smurf off. Delicious fruit flavored tricks. Tricks? Hey, what's up? This job calls for a <laughs> super no. disguise. Interesting. Yeah. Most of these <laughs> cereals oh, that weren't tied tricks. to. I'm here like to help a, a brand. Uh, hey, Zach. I just ate this week's cereal. Hocus Pocus 2 cereal. Kind of flavorless, but mostly like, uh... Uh, Fruit Loops. Even super rabbits get hung up on tricks. Hey, Cookie Crook, what are you doing? See, now the Cookie Crook... Cookie Crisp had the Cookie cro Crook instead of the Wizard. I did not like that change. That did not make me happy. I know, I know. It even looks like little chocolate. So Zach, how is uh how's full time streaming now? Zach moved to a full time streaming. Man, congratulations. It's amazing news. I wish you I wish you nothing but the best. I did that. I did that a long time ago. I, I, so I know the stresses. I, I know the strains, I know the stresses. I feel you. Uh, you've recently gone full, as has uh, uh, Director Chronic, which is amazing to see. Thank you, Idle Hams. It's going to be a wild ride, yeah. Oh, no doubt about that. Like, just, just when you think you've got it figured out, trust me. The only advice I would have... Ah, uh, thank you. ...produced Star Wars, Incredible Cross-Sections, and Star Wars, The Visual Dictionary. Ah, yes. I, I think I have that. Um, not like you're asking for advice, but as an entrepreneur, as a creator... As someone who's gone down that route, diversify. Diversify. Every good business has three legs to stand on. And uh, that will start making more and more sense over time. It's like a stool. You've got to have three legs to stand on. So even MakerDeck, right? MakerDeck is, is, is definitely moving towards that direction. And, uh, you know, I don't think I'm going to be able to quit my job for it anytime soon. I'd love to at some point. Uh, but uh, um, even that is going to have diversification. You know, we, we've got Twitch, of course, as a foundation. But we're going to be launching a Patreon campaign to add more value to uh, for makers who, you know, obviously support Maker Deck, but beyond any maker, really, for the Patreon campaign. And then uh, a third pillar is going to be an event, or an event series, I should say. So be thinking that way, Zach. That's a, I know you're not asking for the advice. I'm just imparting this advice because I've been there. So if you ever feel the need to commiserate or ask questions or like, you know, you're, you're, you have concerns, you're Royal frustrated, Nomi whatever. Thank you, Royal Nomi. Royal Nomi is going to be helping me uh, coordinate guests for uh, the weekly show, my, my creator conversation show on uh, Maker Deck. Today we talked to more and more. That was a lot of fun. Actually learned something, too, from him, which I always appreciate. I don't like knowing everything going into something like that. Ow. I'm trying to get this uh, brim off here. Thought I had already cleared it off, but I guess not. Monsoon Josh 3D gifted Miller Redesigns uh, a subscription. Monsoon Josh thank 3D you. gifted a tier 1 sub to Miller Designs. They have given 32 gift subs in the channel. Thank you very, very much for that. And Miller is definitely deserving. Thank you. I turned the 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 sounds off the um, the uh, um, the commercials for the time being. I suppose I could turn them uh, down. Well, because you all were cheering and whatnot, but Ooh, bringing it back. Here, I'll turn it down just a tiny bit. There, it'll be like background noise. You remember Circus Fun? It was neither. Well, it was a circus. It just wasn't fun. They didn't say it was flavor fun. 
place okay. Great. Show them what you can do. The taste of Kellogg Frost Flakes. Brings out the tiger in you. And you. In our last episode, Lucky met a squirrel whale. Oh, yeah. Are they headed for a ball? Look out. The waterfall. I remember when they did commercials like little episodes. What the heck? Ah, oh, the 80s. You're addicted to marble games? Ah, yeah. Big Channel loves his marble games. I just bought... Uh, um, oh, I'm still looking for someone in the Seattle area who can help me repair my CRT. I'd really like to get Jedi playing, and her, the, her friends who come over, I'd like to get them playing some of those arcade games. Um, including Marble Madness. I remember that was that was my... my wasn't that the Atari game? Marble Madness? Marble... What was it? Marble Madness? Do y'all remember the old Atari game? Crystal Castles, I remember, had the rollerball. It was like that, but it was a it was a ball. Was that? Was it Crystal Castles? Am I thinking? I'm wondering if I'm mixing metaphors. Was it Marble Madness? That? I can't remember. Their circus fun again. It was so much fun. They put it in there twice. Yeah, we have the NES. But it, 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 it's, you know, there's something about standing in, in front of an arcade cabinet. And so that's the thing is, like, it's there, and I just need help. And I reached out to someone who I thought would be able to uh, fix it in the area, and they never got back to me. Mighty Bean was here briefly. Actually, that, that reminds me. I, I need to... Now what? Who turned out the light? I did, so you could see these new glow ghosts. They glow in the dark and they're free from... Left a note for myself because, uh... Glow ghosts with proofs of purchase from Count Chocula. Glow ghosts? Ooh, I don't remember that. You know, sometimes you can go... You can go onto eBay and find some of these prizes still. Oh, I remember this one. Wasn't really a fan of animal crackers as a kid, but I do remember this cereal. Marble Madness can go die in a hole. But that's what made it fun. You'd love to have the old school Tron game. I've played it. I've got it on my cabinet. And as much as I'd love to fire it up, it, it's just the, the screen is garbage right now. Which is unfortunate. And unfortunately, you cannot find a lot of people who repair CRT screens anymore. Was it Marble Madness? Okay, so I was remembering it correctly. Okay. Dinosaurs? Do I remember this one? Dinosaurs. I don't... I don't even know if I remember that one. Oh, of course, Pebbles. I did see that that Chelsea just released it, but I'm not a patron at her ten dollar tier. I wonder, I do wonder if she'd sell her Garbage Pail Kids prints or makes separately, because I'd be interested in buying them. Like just, but I, I see. I'm not, I'm not as much into the Disney makes. Oh, uh, this definitely did not age well. Oh my God, this was the '80s. Did not age well. Took all your money? Yep, that's that's what uh, arcade games were supposed to do. Mission accomplished. Easily my favorite Cheerios. Easily. Always and forever. And I've tried the different Cheerios, including chocolate Cheerios. Mm -hmm. My 
super golden crisp cereals the life the cool sh sugar bear can't believe there's eight vitamins hiding in that sweet crispy wheat what eight vitamins hiding what's up with that what's up fellas your time sugar bear with cruiser for a crime well that's nightmare fuel how about a vitamin pack punch let's get last flight to the coast Thanks to the lift, boys. I can't get enough super, super golden, golden crisp. crisp. It's got the crunch with punch. Pow. Mm -hmm. super golden crisp Dark cereal. Trooper done. Very nice filament. It's the uh, it's got a nice uh, reflective quality to it. Slightly, slightly lustrous. Um, and uh, boy, that's clean. This is the PLA Pro from Polymaker. It's got, you can't really see in that camera view, but it's got some sparkles. Did I? I think I wanted that. I never got it, but I bet you anything it's on eBay. Okay, now we're getting into the 90s. All right. Cereal's bringing more honey to this nutritious breakfast than ever. I'm a buzz with the news. So are we. I've uh I've set up the uh um uh, uh the uh what would you call it? You know the the thing for requests. Golden crisp. It's got the crunch with punch. Uh, so I, uh, I, let me flip back to the bamboo here. I, um, I turned on, uh, I turned off the music, but I'll turn it back on. There's the music. Uh, I, I turned on the, uh, 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 requests. I haven't had a chance to try this, uh, but the, uh, uh, I've got effectively two slots for subscribers if you want to join my stream right now, I wanted to test this to see how, or I mean, we just chat about whatever. And then, we, you know, if more people request and we can rotate or whatever, but I, this is something I've been wanting to try. And after talking with, um, after talking with, uh, more and more today, I thought, oh yeah, let, let me, let me, let me open it up. So if you go to on the Twitch desktop, at least with Chrome, you should see on my profile, you should see requests underneath the video embed. Now this is a, an early release. At some point it will be, um, you can you can accept just audio, but this point it's video and audio. But uh, I'm putting that out there as, a, as, a, as an option or a possibility because I can bring up to two other people to, uh, to, join, the, uh, to join the stream. Oh, nice. Um, oh, Mad Cat. All right, hang on. Let me bring you in. Thank you for, thank you for being a, thank you for being a willing uh, participant. Okay, so let's see here. I'm gonna add you in queue, waiting for guests to connect. Although I'm not sure which, which one you are yet. Let me turn this on here. It says waiting for guest to connect, but see, I don't know. I think you come. I think you automatically fall into guest one slot, not um, not guest two. And I may have to, when you come in, I may have to use a different set of headphones because otherwise it'll things might go echoey. This is the, this is the part of me testing, you know, to know to know what works and what doesn't. Getting Mad Cat is getting ready, so theoretically Mad Cat's gonna show up in a stream if I did everything correct. Cause I don't know. I I have not yet. This is the first. Mad Cat's helping me test. As is Papa Bear. Waiting for guests to connect. So theoretically. 
and we'll just rotate. If more people request, we'll just rotate people. So like, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no agenda apart from hey, what's what's going on? What's what's up? What's up in your neck of the woods? Okay, it says getting ready. So what do I, what do I do? Do I, do I have to give you something? Oh, s slot guest. There we go. Okay, slot to guest one. Here comes Papa Bear. Or no, Mad Here. Cat. Hey. Hey, Chris. Okay, wait. So y I see you, and I well, I hear you, but why am I not seeing you on stream? Oh, show on stream. Ah. Okay, hang on. Let me see here. If there's a, I'm I'm learning, right? Guest video will appear in guest star and your and your browser source. Guest audio will be pushed through your streaming software. Guests who leave are removed, no longer appear in your streaming software. Please make sure you've copied and added guest slot links as browsers. Yep, yeah, got that. Do not yeah, show again. Yeah. It it worked. Okay, hang on. So I don't know. I'm turned. I've turned down my volume, so there may be a. There will be a. You'll hear me in real time, but there may be a delay in your response. No, it's not that bad. Okay, because I'm just lis I'm listening through the I'm listening through my my headphones. Okay, so now I'm gonna slot into guest two. Papa Bear is gonna join us. Whoa, it worked! Ah, ah it worked! It worked! It worked! It, it makes me so happy when things just magically work. So my my thinking is yeah, uh, my thinking in in doing this is just basically having requests on literally all the time. And, and and hanging out and and just you know t you know if more people are requesting to queue then we we cycle we've already got um monsoon josh in the wings so what's on wh what's go ahead yeah this is you can have up to five so i i have but here's the thing i've learned that when it comes to uh these types of of streams and discussions and and whatnot it's better, you're better off managing two other people than three, certainly four or five. There's one of the reasons Maker Deck, like no audio apart from maybe one or two people, because uh, otherwise it gets really overwhelming very quickly, especially when there's a lot going on and people are wanting to ask questions, et cetera, et cetera. So at least at this time. Yeah. So what have y'all printed lately? What have y'all made lately? I guess got some prints around here somewhere. Ah, yes. Huge. You you did that larger. You did that what? Two hundred? How how many how, uh, percentage did you go? Not two hundred, but. Okay, hang on. So they say they can't hear you. They, you, sh you two. So I wonder how. Uh, there's one thing I may. Let me check. I think you need to like turn it on in the control panel. I haven't seen the backside of this, so to invite anybody. That's the thing. Uh, hmm. That's the embed. Something in the feed when you invited us to unmute us, probably. N no, because I can hear you, and you're put. You're both pushed. Yeah, and your audio is through. I see audio on both sides. Hmm. Um, there we go. It's coming up. It's coming up now. Okay. Can you hear me now? Can you hear yeah. me? Hello. Hi, Zach. How are you? I think what I had to do is turn up desktop audio. I think that was... That would probably um, be it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for so, helping okay. me troubleshoot. Okay. Yep. All right. So Zach, who's more handsome with a beard, me or Chris? <laughs> uh, or actually, I'm sorry, or me or Mad Cat? Well, Mad Cat's got. Some, what do you got going on there? Give me a few months. <laughs> but it's not good. My beard is not good. I, I like I liked Evil Perilla with the goatee. The goatee. Yeah. 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 I, I don't know. I'm I'm debating. I I normally I would let it go by now, but I sh I shaved recently, 
And I don't know if I can handle a beard this year. I've done it before for the past couple of years, but man, I just, because I go for November, I'm gray. November. I know, I know. So, but then like, if I get through that, by the time I get to Christmas, I'm ready to shave. So if I don't start like September, October, it never really gets, my beard never really gets to the, you know, the extreme level of beardness, you know, that looks good. It just always looks bad. And then I shave it. So it never gets to that point because I just get annoyed by it. No, this has been going for about 10 years now. I just trim it. Every once oh. I'm like some people. Yeah, I... I... Excuse me? What? <laughs> I actually, I had done a goatee probably about uh, two months ago. And then I just was like, eh, I'm just going to let it grow back out. So. Probably smart. It's better. I just need to trim underneath because oh, it's a little bit scraggly. Yeah. But yeah. Well, the whole thing just the mo I the the time I get when I'm when I was sleeping, right? When I was like laying down and it was bothering me, that's usually when I decided I'm like, hey, it's got to come off. It, it's got to come off. There's no way I can't do this. I'll, I'll pay you later, Kieran. Thank you. Um, yeah, because I, I can open I mean, up another window. I don't see the chat at all. So. Oh, yeah, I've yeah, yeah. Side by side on the monitor here. Yeah. So this is actually really cool because I can see the live stream and then I have the uh, preview screen. It's pretty cool. Yeah, because you're seeing uh, the on the back end, you're just seeing my uh, my webcam, right? Well, here here's what here's what I'm seeing right now. I'll be I'll be creative here. Oh, there you go. So, yeah, I just have it on a 28-inch 4K monitor. So I have us in one window. Then I have um, the Perillo stream. In the yeah, other, see, that so. that's my that's the webcam. See, and I wrote, I try, I was trying to, like, rotate the laptop so it was a little cleaner. But, like, it doesn't. Yeah. As long as you can, you don't even need to see me. No. As long as you hear. Actually, can I even toggle that? I'm doing it on a, a separate computer. Uh, let me see. Oh, I can't. I can't <laughs> toggle my video. I can only take <laughs> I can't toggle anything on me. You got to turn the fan off, Jano. If it's going to be blowing to one side, I mean, that just doesn't. Now, what's I cool. I my desk, but I'm afraid of scaring people. <laughs> oh, my desk is a mess. So if we go, give me a second. If we go to, if you look on my Twitch page, does it show your links? Mm. Twitch.tv slash Chris Perillo. I had to type it in manually because it wasn't in the history there. Um, whoa. That's like full screen. Uh, yeah. You look at the guests and you're you're, you're linked off, like uh, under the guests category. You're, oh, um, is it? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's wild. I'm, I'm going to have fun with this. I don't know who wants yeah, to do a I'm podcast saying, with me sometime on a Sunday, but. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's. it's That'd be cool. Uh, I, I think this is going to be a regular part of, 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 of my nightlies, if only to, to I mean, I, I don't know how many, I mean, right now we've got, you know, two people uh, waiting BC and in Monsoon Josh, but, which is good. Oh, I'd rather have, you know, something of interest than, than, oh. uh, than not, especially when I'm not really printing anything active. I mean, I had the cereal and I'm like, oh, let's watch some retro. I really wanted to try this tonight. No, I ran a whole lot of, functional prints for my wife she wanted stands that she could put her uh paintings on so that it could drip without dripping everywhere and getting all over so it's just squares that's all i've been printing for the last oh, wow. two days now <laughs> wow uh big Jono is asking is this an everyone feature or limited release it may they may be trickling out guest star to certain people it was enabled in my account like two days ago and uh, I believe that if you, you can check your account, your your dashboard, your creator dashboard on Twitch, and it would it would let you know. It it, it pops it'll, up and says, "Hey." Yep, it'll show up in there. I've had this for I think a little over a week now, and I uh, haven't yeah, yeah. used it. And um, it's it's a slow rollout. I think it'll eventually be out to everybody by the end of November, is what they were saying. And this was mm -hmm. announced at uh, TwitchCon. So it's pretty cool. This is a good, oh. this is a really good feature because now it's this like, is very well, nice. it's, it's not just, you can, add, you can invite any Twitch person immediately into your show, anybody, anybody. But like this to me is the biggest benefit, like, you know, for subscribers, like why would I, why would I, why would I subscribe to you? Well, you can join when I have, you know, when the requests are open, like you can join and you can ask questions. We can talk about this, that, or the other thing. 
Well, so. one of the one of the neat things to cover about it too is that it's actually you, you can protect yourself too by having people in here. So let's say that you're hosting a talk show, and then let's say that I go off the rails and just get completely belligerent and get crude or whatever. I am held responsible for my own actions, being I'm invited onto the show under my account. You will not get any repercussions on that. Sometimes in the past, what's happened is people have had guest on and then they got in trouble because something like a derogatory word was said or whatever and then the actual streamer is held accountable for the guest they, they hosted now with this you're held individually responsible as as a repercussion against you not the main streamer now which is right. really nice yeah this this basically yeah, killed... something like stream deck somebody goes off the rails and mm -hmm. oh that's on your account yeah, it's, yeah it, with StreamYards. Yeah, yeah StreamYard, yeah. It, it, and it, I'm not saying it kills StreamYard. StreamYard definitely has benefits. But this, yeah. th there, was another, there was a couple of other products. Like OBS Ninja has, or Video Ninja, whatever they're calling it now, has a feature like this. But, like, as far as Twitch, this compared is... compared to this, this so is, far. Yeah, this kills. This, this slays. Like, this is a feature that if YouTube does not copy sooner rather than later, I'd be shocked. Because this is yeah. a this is a this is a nice feature for community, a really nice so feature. So, when you set this up, you created just a browser source for each of us individually and yeah. dropped it into the frame. Each That's awesome. each That's so, so I, easy. Yeah, I don't plan on having I don't plan on having more than <laughs> two people, right? Because I want to have the chat and then the two boxes down below, and that's my general layout right now. I may make mm -hmm. another layout for like up to five people with a template, you know, just for extreme, you know, extreme cases. Uh, but, um, you know, it, 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 the, the way it worked was relatively, I mean, I, 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 was, I looked at it, I'm like, oh, I, that, that's easy. That's simple. That's an overlay. That's a done deal. The only thing I hadn't figured out is specifically like the audio. And, and uh, so now we know that the audio takes from desktop audio. I was looking to see if I, 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 I was looking for the hook for this to handle. Uh, usually I, I thought you could handle audio as a separate source, but you, for some reason or another, it's not letting me do that with these, uh, with these browser embeds. Yeah, I think with since it's a browser embed, each channel or each browser embed, since it's a different source, it's going to have its own individual audio setting. Well, that's what I thought, but it's not showing up as a, a separate audio setting. I don't have that in my anywhere. That's oh, why I had it's to going to be under. Um, yeah, I'll have to look at it, but I think I have an idea on how that how that works. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? Like it just didn't. Yeah. Uh, well, because because what you could do, how you could get around doing that is if you want to do to do individual embedded scenes, so you have like right scene one, scene two, then you add those as a scene source into your main overlay. You should be able then to adjust it at that point. I'm not, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll play with it, and if I figure something out, I'll let you know. Yeah, because I'm I'm curious about that. Okay, we've got a yeah. couple other people. Could I rotate them in? A BC and Monsoon Josh. See you guys. Yeah, thank you, Mad Cat. Thank you, Papa Bear. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. Yeah, thank Later, you. Later, guys. Bye. Oh, wait. Mad Cat. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, the, uh, so what happens? You I pressed. Go. I don't know. <laughs> I've got something in queue. I, I, I can leave. We just yeah, click the disconnect click button. Click the oh, you click the disconnect button. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Now I'm seeing it. It is, it is a little wacky on, on my end. But see, the way I set it up was that so that guests who come on just pop in and over whatever it is that I'm doing here in the foreground. So it's relatively seamless. So now we've got BC, 2-3-D, and uh, Monsoon Josh uh, staged to join. Action already taken. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that was a little quirky. But, they, I mean, admittedly, this is hella more seamless than trying to coordinate calls through discord dude by far like this is just so much better because normally you'd have to like drag windows in through through discord and do screen captures it was just a pain in the neck this this is this kills discord calls this kill i mean i i think this supplants Streamyard to an extreme degree for twitch users but i think the biggest benefit that people use Streamyard for is specifically um uh, yeah, it says you have to use a Chrome browser. That is true. Uh, Chrome browser is suggested. Although I tried using Microsoft Edge, which is a Chrome-based browser, but for some reason, and I'd imagine it's this could be a beta thing or a beta limitation, 
Um, it should work because it's a Chromium based uh, browser. I, or did I try? I don't think I tried it through Safari. So theoretically, see, I don't even know if Edge is going to work. It, it, it's pretty finicky. Yeah, they probably, it's a hard coded limitation. So theoretically, they'll open it up to, you know, any, in any viable uh, web browser at, uh, at some point. I would imagine. Or at least I would hope so. So am I the only one who's collecting these uh, Fortnite figures? Like, I am going nuts. I'm just like, it's, I, for some reason, I just love, it, they just remind me of, of G.I. Joe figures from back in the day. Like, way, 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 way back in the day. And, and, and like, I'm just like, head over heels. I get so excited, you know, when I go, uh, not, not quite thrifting, but, um, when I go out and I, 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 I find, uh, I find sales. Now, they have a ton of the, the six-inch that are currently on sale, but I'm not really a six-inch kind of guy. Yeah. Uh, wait, hang on. So, Monsoon Josh is getting ready. BT, wait, hang on. So, this is just weird. Monsoon Josh is getting ready. B2C, CD. So remove that BC. Let me add that BC. Monsoon Josh says it's getting ready. I, I removed the first BC 23D and added the second one. Nope, doesn't like Edge. Does Edge have, in the developer tools, does it have a, uh, a, a browser agent string? Is there a developer tool? There's got to be a developer tools. Edge bar, task, yeah, developer tools. Okay, so if you launch developer tools, I wonder if you could change your browser agent string. Device emulation? No, that's not it. Mm-mm. I thought there'd be an easier way of changing the uh, the browser agent string. Oh, here we go, Monsoon Josh, slotting into guest one. Actually, can I move you to guest two, I wonder? Move to slot, oh, I can, move to slot two. Sweet, oh my God, that was so easy. And the reason <laughs> I the reason I moved you to slot two, Josh, is because I've got a, an active 3D printer going on where I've got slot one. Right, okay, can you hear me though? Yeah, I can hear you. Sweet, sweet. Awesome. So, Hi, everybody. There, there's a glitch, though, where it's it's like repeating. For some reason, it repeats the... Um, there, there, it's, it is beta, right? But, like, y you were in the queue twice, even though I had accepted you, and then I, I click in that area, and then it, that disappears. Do you need me to see if it No, 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 you're good. I can, I can... No, 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 you're good. Okay. You're good. So you admit to liking Coldplay? I do. I went to their concert back in March. Actually, see, May. I, I like Coldplay. I know everyone was making fun of them for a while, but sweet. It's good to it's good to talk to you. Finally, get to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks again for uh, for your support. It's appreciated hey. across I'm the board. For Maker Tech. you can't yeah. see it, but like, I got the little sticker right there. Uh, wait, wait, hang on, where? Oh, where the? Oh yeah, yeah. The yeah, we can see it. It's in the little corner. Yeah. <laughs> and I actually got a shirt on. Oh, there, there you go. go. See? <laughs> there we go. Nice. Who tweeted? Someone just tweeted that too. They just got the shirt, and they tweet and they did a, a screen grab of and, and the, the the QR code worked. They were excited. The QR code worked, <laughs> which is awesome. I'm I'm all about the QR. Sweet. I'm all about those QR codes. I mean, because you never know. Like someone asks, and you know, I'll, I'll be I'll, I'll have a stack of coins for uh, for Halloween. I mean, not to give out as, as treats. That would literally be the the worst Halloween treat ever. Like. Here, kid, have an advertisement. Like, you know, <laughs> um, but like when they... As long as they don't give you... <laughs> no, but when... Yeah, as long as they don't give you... Yeah, I'll have a stack there, but like, they'll take a trinket, you know, they'll uh, like, take a, you know, choose a choose a droid or choose a, a dragon or choose a something, and then I'll have them 
I said, here, take here. This is you can we we do we do makes online. You know, like you can watch us online, and then because you never know. I mean, you can, they'll scan the code. They'll watch. You know, the the parent will scan the code. They'll go to Twitch and they'll see people making. I know I've I've converted at least two people in the neighborhood, though I have not met them because they have not introduced themselves to me. Uh, at least two people. Actually, that reminds me. Is Diana listening? <laughs> oh, hang on. It's not yellow. BC is is ready here, so we're gonna bring in BC two three D. No, for real, nobody's gonna be joining too. But... Oh, it's, it's the your... light. It's yeah, it's you've got to get it. You've got to get an or you need a, a webcam adjustment tool depending on the computer that you use, Windows or Mac. Hold on. If you use Mac, I've got a good. So actually, there may be a Windows version. It's called webcam. Hey, Diana, um, did you text the woman, uh, the mom? To ask about the dad who 3D print who 3D printed the 200% pumpkin pie fighter. Oh wow, that's pretty big. Yeah, it was big. Well, that's what I was told, Diana. I literally said, I said Diana. She said, yeah, and then she disappears. WTF? So, uh, Josh, are you using are you using uh, Mac or Windows? I'm using Windows. I I'm adjusting okay. right now with the program I have. I was gonna say, uh, yeah. webcam webcam settings in the App Store is what I've used in the past to adjust um, the variables in on the Mac. I think there's an equivalent on Windows. It may be the same thing. Right. Oh, I'm actually using a. Uh, Hang on. I. Oh wait. Oh, I see what I can do. Oh, I can bring you on. I was trying to. Hmm. Because your webcam's disconnected. That's because I have it disconnected. Yeah. Hold on, I'm fixing the white balance. Hey, BC and Royal Nomi. Hi, how are you? Hey, <laughs> boo. <laughs> yeah, we, so it's uh, Chrome only. I tried it both ways. Oh, so wow. Hard-coded. It worked like that. So how so, is your garage pretty much, and I haven't asked this yet, but is your garage pretty much a makerspace, like 100%? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, do you have do you have a car anywhere? In the driveway. In the driveway. Well, yeah. Well, that'd we be have... that'd be the place to keep it, right? I do we rename <laughs> garages to like maker spaces, personal maker spaces? I don't think we've ever parked a vehicle in the garage ever. No, not. Well, we really didn't have garage because we were living on military bases most of the time, so we never had a garage. Uh... So. It was kind of something new to finally get a garage and then i turned it believe it or not before we turned it into this you couldn't walk through here because all my stuff it was just 20 years of traveling around the world and and packing everything up and just had nowhere to go with it so right we kind of got rid of it we made the choice to do this and it was like all right we got to get rid of stuff and we just downsized everything yeah. and she come up with the idea for moving things around and built the tables and oh nice slowly evolving <laughs> yeah we had uh, i mean we i mean we use we only have one car so like we have it's a it's it's there there's room for three cars one in in, in like a in tandem i think what do they call it like where one goes deeper and so it's a three there's there was originally space for three but most of our garage is is storage we only have like one car we have cabinets we have, you know, bins, you know, for, you know, random things and just yeah, things that, that you collect. But uh, maybe, and we've got big bins too, like clothes, extra clothes. Um, I, I think that maybe on down the line, I'd be interested in me after Jedi's like grown up and gone, like potentially having to get like extraneous space to move those clothes, those clothes bins too. And then just have that area as uh, for for makerspace, just that just that part well, of the and, and that that's kind of the same thing that happened here because after our daughter, because our boy left for the army, and then uh, our daughter, she's up in college going to medical to nursing school. So that's cool. We really had no other stuff to do, so that's why we put everything into this. To, plus, I couldn't even get my truck through here. It would take the top of my truck off. Wow. <laughs> Either that's a short garage or a big truck. It's a six inch lift on 35s F 150s. <laughs> your your yeah, truck up there. Your truck could eat my car. It's huge. <laughs> that's 
Well, you know, a lot of the places I lived, we like in Arizona and that we lived way out in the boonies up in the mountains and stuff. So you kind of had to to get around to do stuff like that. And so, yeah. <laughs> Plus, it's, uh, I mean, with uh, the price of gas nowadays, it's getting harder and harder to run it. So, thank God, uh, where oh, I work, yeah. the base is just across the street. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you know, I, I'm, I drive electric, so, or we drive electric. And, and you know, I, I we don't guzzle gas anymore. We guzzle electricity. But I do that anyway with running. I'm, I'm, I'm basically running an electronic 24-7. I got my internet connections always on. I got a TV running Maker Deck right. 24-7. I'm 3D printing constantly on me. I'm like, my our electrical bill is, is easily, with with the launch of Maker Deck, it's like went through the roof, like just doubled because of because well, the amount that we go through. People always that too, is how much more electricity do you use running all those printers? And to be honest, right negligible compared to when my kids were home yeah it's nothing compared to what that was i mean you know royal know me she's she comes to the house you get yelled at if you leave lights on yeah i'm uh, that guy she's one of those I, i'm the royal know me in this house i am i i i'm like lights on are you done is it done in there have you done this that hey, we're coming right back <laughs> Let you said that four weeks yet. ago. Yeah, it's, it's all right. Your 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 allotted time is up. <laughs> Take a flashlight. They were given flashlights. Wow. <laughs> I remember and that. During the day, open up the window. Do not turn my lights on during the day. Open up. Wow. The See, I don't like. I wow. mean, the blinds. I don't mind open during the day. I don't mind it. It's just when it gets dark and it gets dark faster. I want the blinds shut. I don't want anybody looking in at any angle. You know, at all. I watch. So, you know, I, I, okay, so have you watched, I watched The Watcher, it was, it's a new Netflix show, right? And after watching The Watcher, I'm even more like, these blinds need to be shut by sundown. Like, I don't want them open, I don't want anybody looking in, I don't want anybody guessing what's going on in here. Let them, let them guess, right? Because that show made me pay attention during my CCNA class for routing and how people get in and my cybersecurity. Because uh, in there, you know, they're watching them through all this. And I started paying attention to what my settings were on the routers and all of this and started going back through going, nope, this is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. Yep. You got to, so, I mean, that's the thing about networking, though. You got to, like, you got to, people got to think that way. You got to think, you know, it ain't a free for all anymore. I mean, and that's that's it, it ain't what it used to be, right? This, it, you no, got to take that dangerous. stuff seriously. Oh yeah, that's why I don't. I really like even with. I know the Prusa has got Wi-Fi, you know, the module for for adding Wi-Fi, and I know the Bamboo's got it as well. But I treat it. I treat the Wi-Fi and the Bamboo very carefully. Like it's on a separate network. It can't communicate with other devices. Like it's a, it's it's. I treat it like a hostile entity. Like, I just don't want, it is not going to be on a general network. And I, I think more, with the more devices you have, you are smarter to segment, segment and organize your devices by trust, right? And that's, right. that's a big deal. Huge deal. I did a report on that uh, just two weeks ago because they asked about that. And that was one of the things I covered in the report is you're giving with the, the ease of technology from Alexa and all this other stuff and tvs that are connected to your routers and all this stuff is you're Smart. giving all these people this ease of access but you're opening them up to so much more because the regular person doesn't know to shut down ports doesn't know yep. to to add firewalls and stuff and they're oblivious to how vulnerable they really are yep. and it kind of scared me after taking that class and i i literally i well i'm still taking it but I'm literally constantly going through everything because I didn't realize how oblivious I was to most people, the vulnerability, but that's most people, you know, that's, that's, so. it's par for the course. I, yeah, I'm, I'm very careful very about careful what, what devices I, I have on the network. Uh, keep a limited, keep a limited amount and treat them all. Like, I don't know you like, no, you're not going to talk to other devices. I don't care. Like I'm very, very, very careful about a lot of that stuff. I watch, I watch the network like a hawk, like a hawk. I mean, especially when you're dealing yeah, with like yeah. Wi-Fi. Even, 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 you know, you, there's always, no matter what you do, there's always going to be another vulnerability. Always. 
going to be another vulnerability. What was the one on Firefox that used to actually log everything that happened on your internet? I can't remember. That, that I don't a, remember. That was, was a project or whatever that would log everything in and out. And oh my God! Show you how much people are you are... talking about that special plugin? I remember that. Yeah. I yeah, and really. it would track everything yeah. throughout the day of all the people that were taking your information and how it would go from one place to another to another to another. And wow! It, it was just yeah. crazy. So I don't use it anymore. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, you know, I I've never taken the step of getting like a network level because they make devices that will do like network level ad blocking, you know, which would be it's probably it would probably be the smarter thing to do. But inevitably, the thing that you run into is incompatibility, right? I run into too many issues like just browsing with ad blocking and like this isn't working right. And then it's easier to configure on the device versus going to the network and going, oh, I got to reconfigure that in order to see this. True. Sorry, what's up, Josh? 3D. <laughs> hey, sorry, I'm sorry, just. Yeah. I, I <laughs> keep hearing a beeping, and I think it's in my room. Beeping? But it's it's not it's, here. I hear like a beeping. There's not it a beeping here. BC, it's not me because I keep looking for it. I think it's huh. BC's. Is it my printers? Because we got all the printers running in the back. <laughs> I don't hear any. We're beeping. trying to finish out this Optimus Prime for Royal Nomi. Uh... <laughs> I don't think it's from you, Chris. Which Optimus Prime are you? Is that like a... the Toymaker one? <laughs> That's the Chaos Cortec one, I think. Is that am I correct? Chaos Cortec. It's like ninety-two pieces or something. Really? It's Chaos Cortec. It's a free. It's on Things 3D, and it's like sixty some freaking pieces. Huh. It's gonna be huge. Well, you can see these are all the piles of everything that's all. <laughs> yeah. So here's my torso. Oops, sorry. Wow, that is gonna be huge. Crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> so like yeah. I have I uh, uh I mean I was going to do the toy maker one but I didn't know Chaos Cortex had it. I mean you're doing it all with the, like the the proper colors and everything and see I'd have to do the same thing. Like if I was going to do it I would if you're gonna it's go go all the way. coordinated out on the STL. It's this one's got to be gray, this one's got to right. be red, this one's got to be blue. So you can have kinda, you that's why she's got these lists here. She checks uh, them all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have you seen the, have sure you seen Toymaker? Have y'all seen Toymaker? Uh -uh. Oh, okay. Game over. Hang on. Y'all, you're going to flip. Toymaker 3D. I'll put, I'll put the link in Twitch chat here. Toymaker 3D has tons of free models and pretty much Toy all, maker. all of the G1 Transformers. All of them. Oh wow! No, like that's why I thought it was. I, that's why I thought it was Toymaker. Hang on, I'm gonna go. I'll go grab my Bumblebee. This looks pretty sick. I see Gundams and stuff. Wow. Are you seeing what I'm seeing, BBC? Yeah. No. That's... Yeah. I just messaged that link to you. So okay. Karen also put it in the chat too. Why are you hiding? <laughs> <laughs> Cats inquiring TBC. <laughs> so I apologize oh, wow. for it's leaving like... my own stream, but um, yeah, uh, it's all good. Y'all, good. y'all have preoccupied yourself for the next year. Uh, so this is here's the here's the bumblebee. Right, I want to make sure I'm not the one causing that. I think so. What's up? Uh, where did you all go? There we go. I've got like too many windows open. But like, look. Right so like, here. this is the. Here's the bumblebee, right? So it articulates. It. This is a little. I mean, unfortunately, it's a little loose, because you know, just getting it tight is a little challenge. But like, it articulates. This is the bumblebee. I didn't color coordinate the pieces clearly. I just went with like straight yellow. But uh, this Turned is at. Flat. This is fifty percent. Um, you know, I mean, so yeah, it, it, the pieces that you assemble, um, oh, okay. Just like doesn't take, I don't think it takes any supports. I don't think any of his stuff takes any supports, but, um, this is, is this at a hundred percent? No, this might be like, I like that. 50 percent or something like cool. that. So I, cause I thought, oh, it'd be kind of neat to have a, 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 you know, a bumblebee. And I, I was going to print the other ones, but all I did for the other ones is I just did the heads. 
I just did the heads for um, the other Transformers. Those are all uh, toy makers. So, like, if, if you ever run out of, of, like, something to print, like, he's got tons and tons and tons and tons of them. That's awesome. And pretty much not all of them, but most of them are free. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check that one out. Here, I want to show you. I was talking about this before, but that's the one so, I ended up getting. Wow. <laughs> We were talking oh, about yeah, it. Yeah. The That's the good one. one on the show. That's the good one. <laughs> Hopefully you got a good sale price on it. Yeah. Kieran, I know it was out of sight because I wasn't sure if, if they were watching this. I have another camera for the, the them being called or pulled in. So I wanted to make sure that, that BC could see the figure that I was talking about before I showed everybody else. They see they right. see me differently than the than the stream sees me. Yeah, you're you're like at an angle. So you must be yeah, I'm at an angle. That, yeah, this is my this is just my the webcam on the Mac. Yeah, we're gonna have to get. We were thinking about getting one of those uh, microscopic cams so you can see like if like whenever we're trying to show something up close and show like right. the finish and stuff to get in there and get a better 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 view so we can so, show people and kind of explain what we're talking about. You got. I mean, the ZV one does a really like. I don't know if you've ever seen me hold up something to like my. If you're looking at the stream, right? If you're looking at not 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 our network on the back, but like if you look at the stream, you can get really close, and people always like freak out at how detailed. Oh yeah. You can get like right up and close. That's the. Uh, yeah, that is the ZV one. And ZV one. That, yeah. Here, there. Uh, this is my Amazon link for it. Camera. There's the link. <laughs> Oh, okay. You Here's got it on Amazon. Link. There's cool. the link. Yeah, um, but it is worth every single penny. It powers my live stream. It is super high quality. No one complains about it. Um, I, uh, you know, I set the color saturation exactly how I wanted it to be, uh, and uh, I mean, I just have it connected by way of a, a separate USB cable um, to like HDMI out to like, what is it? The, the cam link 4k or whatever. And then po it, it powers by USB, but I've got the battery, uh, or I've got the camera connected to a, a battery pack that's connected to USB rather than powered by the battery so that it's, I can use it as a live streaming camera. It's basically meant as a vlogging camera, but do not make any mistake. This is the ZV one out of all the ZVs that they've made. The first one, the ZV one is the best. They've even released newer ones, but they're not honestly they're they're fewer features they, they went with lesser quality components and and other people have complained uh, about that uh so uh you know you get a good price on a um on a on a sony zv1 I, it's it's a champ it's been running pretty much every day i wouldn't say non-stop but every day for the past year year and a half and hopefully will indefinitely and, and as soon as this one dies I'll be getting a second ZV1, right? Or if I find one on sale, I'll have one as a backup because this when is... When you get something that works, why mess with oh, it, Oh, man, right? that's what I'm saying. Exactly. Like, for years, I went with... I, I was using, um, like, the old school uh, video days uh, of live streaming. I was using a, a Canon GL2, which is, like, a television-quality camera that I had. I mean, bought it and didn't use it for anything else. Um, and then upgraded to Canon had... Canon Vixia HV30 and then the Canon Vixia HV40. So my old 720p live streams were largely HV30, HV40. And I was using those up until a few years ago and then didn't really have a desktop camera and was using like, okay, webcams and, and what have you. Um, the only other right. alternative would be using a, a, uh, your uh, uh, your smartphone, right? Use Reincubate Camo on the desktop for either Windows or Mac. You can use your smartphone as a higher quality camera, uh, and and potentially get into levels of detail that you couldn't get to otherwise without investing in in a new camera. If you have a, a spare a smartphone lying around, reincubate camo. Um, and they oh, just you, uh... they just sorry oh. before you before you ask before I need to tell you they just updated reincubate camo uh, a couple days ago, and now you can instead of having a wired connection. To a PC or a Mac, you can use, you know, Android or, or an iPhone or an iPad. They now enable Wi-Fi from Reincubate Camo, so it, it'll it'll use the same Wi-Fi, the same network that you're on, but you don't have to have it tethered to the specific stream computer, which you know provides potentially greater degrees of flexibility. So that's something else you may consider is just using a spare uh, smartphone, one way or another. 
So basically, I can't play Call of Duty when you're doing all no, that. No, you can't play Call of Duty. <laughs> Sorry. No roast. There'll be no rust. <laughs> sorry sorry okay so i did not mean to interrupt you were gonna ask oh no i i was i was also gonna ask um it's, it's kind of along the same lines of back that you got a hobby lobby up by you yeah they got on sale right now all their models are on sale 40 percent off so i ended up picking up the mandalorian figure i can go get it i'll show it to you oh the band the uh model I'll, I'll right okay yeah 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 yeah, yeah. it's only 26 bucks, so. i'll have to check yeah, that out <laughs> I, I go to hobby lobby really sometimes know. not not all the time uh, but they don't really have a lot of halloween stuff out but now i know everyone's like putting christmas stuff out and i go i go for sales sometimes we get some some nice we got the uh, the grogu uh waffle maker we've used like you know a couple of times um see i go for all the christmas stuff yeah so, yeah <laughs> yeah Halloween's not like a big thing i mean i have three trees yeah. that i put up in my house and we, my house is every room is decorated see so. we've got a couple of the halloween things most i would say most of our halloween stuff at this point is, is honestly 3d printed like we I, we did i did a lot last year so I, I didn't really do you know a lot this year the only other thing i was thinking about printing is in in the polymaker teal is a teal pumpkin like a teal pumpkin pie fighter uh because i guess teal is the signifying i think we talked about this the other day too uh signifies that uh you don't have candy you have just like other trinkets or whatever mm -hmm. you're handing out uh, but I thought, well, yeah, what, the what two bucket it? program is for kids with um, food allergies, uh, um, or they have sensitivities to certain dyes oh. in certain foods. So the teal bucket program is giving them um, trinkets or stickers or something, so okay. that they can so that they can trick or treat and yeah. be able to get be given something. So so. Um, I, 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 Plus, you're, we're expecting a lot of parents to not want their kids to have candy this year with the threats of, yeah. you know, the, the fentanyl and stuff like that. So we're just getting prepared. Yeah. So. I mean, I, I, it's it's easier for me to 3D print things and have have them to be handed out perennially yeah. than, to get, than to get candy at this point. I know the kids will probably be disappointed, but you never know. Like, some kids, I think, are going to be excited. I think they're going to be thrilled. like it. Yeah, yeah, okay. I've seen that. Target has That's one sick. too. And, yeah, so I. So it's only I, twenty six bucks right now on sale. I'll have to check it out. Plus like they got sometimes, the in it. sometimes. Uh, I mean, I, I look for the the seasonal stuff at Hobby Lobby. They'll have uh, hopefully they have some new, uh, cr uh, uh, Christmas seasonal stuff, uh, for for Star Wars, of course. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. That's where we get them. That's where we've gotten our Christmas tree every year for the last oh, <laughs> Whenever nice. we get a new one. <laughs> so we quit doing the live ones because that's just too much. <laughs> See, I, I go with the live ones because that way you don't have to like store anything and I'm like it's just easier. I mean, not easier. It's kind of fun. We used to, when I was a kid, we used to go out and, uh, and they probably, I know they have the tree farms up here too, uh, where you can cut your own. Like you can actually chop your own down. And I remember doing that as a kid. I don't know if I want to do it as an adult because, like, right down the street, yeah. there's a Christmas tree, like, where they re they, they sell this I stuff. I grew up in northern Michigan, and my dad would drag us out, all five of us boys, and we'd go yep. out into the middle of nowhere, like, yep. walk for an hour after we parked the car yep. and find the biggest tree. And he'd be like, well, we're like, why'd you pick that one? Because I ain't got to carry it back. That's what y'all are here for. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. 20 below zero and out there yep. cutting on a tree. That's that's you the see me doing that. That's the way to do it. That's being a dad. <laughs> Good old dad. Yeah, I, I remember. Yeah. But yeah, we'll we'll, we'll uh, we went we had an artificial for a few years, and then um, I mean it was it was always you know being stored right. And I'm like you know it was I don't know I don't even remember why we did it. I think it was because either the dogs or, or Jedi being born. I can't remember. But but a couple of years ago we started going with um, with real trees again, and I, I I don't mind it. I guess I do, I really don't I don't mind it as much, but I grew up with it, so it's not as big a deal for me. And the Halloween stuff, there's not a lot. We've got skulls and some some of the some of the pumpkins. There's not there. It's not everywhere, but we got we got more of the stuff in the windows this year for Halloween. More a lot of the stuff in the windows. 
for for you that. You want to know what our Halloween decorations are? Yeah. Really pretty. No. Gnomes. 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 Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. We've got yeah, one. Uh, we, were, we were lucky enough to get the Mandalorian blow up from Walmart. That oh, yeah. Only, or Boba Fett, yeah. Yeah. So. See, we. I, I'm, I'm always cool. worried about putting those those blow up things out on the, uh, on the, uh, out there for, 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 for anybody to, like, I mean, not just to see, but to, like, take. Because we have, like, from years ago, I got a Grinch, and I just don't want I don't want to blow it up. We got a Yoda, and we've got a Grinch, and I just don't want to put it out there. So, what, what did I say? What did I say? Sorry, D Diana, walk D Diana walked in, and usually when she walks in, kind of, I'm like, what the hell did I say now? <laughs> All right. You can storm it in. No, Diana came in for one of two reasons. One, to pick a bone with me, or two, to get food. So take a guess as to why she's here. Yes. <laughs> yeah. There we go. It's going to be hot. It's going to be it's, hot. She wants food. It, it's not, it's not, it's better dry. It's not, it's like Fruit Loops. Yeah, better dry. Hey, not don't hit on Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops. Oh, and it takes up. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, and uh, she's being she's being very helpful. She's taking she's taking the food that she's going to eat out of my way. <laughs> yeah, and my bowl, admittedly, and that's it. I got I got I got I got to sit here with everything else. Well, she's helping you clean up your work area. Yes. There you go. She's she's she's, she's going to <laughs> You tired? I don't know. You look tired. <laughs> she's hungry. <laughs> yeah, she's hungry. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to watch Hocus Pocus. Why would we? Why would we do it tomorrow night? T t you can't watch. Who watches a Hocus Pocus on a, a Sunday night? Like, 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 who does that? Why, why are we watching it tomorrow? <laughs> that nervous laughter. Right there. <laughs> that was nervous laughter. Uh, nothing. Uh, I guess if you can't <laughs> handle it, that's all right. Hey, you can always watch Andor. Andor's on tonight. Yeah, so Andor. I'm all caught up. Gotta watch that. I I I I, I almost watching, slipped this then we week. went and watched Black Adam today, so we stopped in the middle of it oh. just to make the movie time for Black, Black Adam. How did how did I mean? Yeah, it was really good. I, I really. really? So my I, I'm a big good. I'm really concerned about um. I mean, I'm not. I like DC stuff. I'm not. A, I, I can't say I'm a fan, um, because honestly, DC has been largely underwhelming to me. Um, I, I haven't really been blown away. I mean, M, the, the MCU movies. I live for MCU movies. MCU TV shows, fantastic. And then, you know, at a very distant third place, DC. And 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 my concerns you. about Black Adam have been. I guess the reviews kind of. Meh. Eh? So I'm with Hit you. I'm a, I'm a Marvel all the way where Royal is in DC. She likes uh, the dark side of DC. And that was why actually this movie was actually really good because DC went back to their darker kind of like Batman Begins, that type darkness in there. So it was, it was yeah. pretty decent. It wasn't corny like Suicide Squad where it just was. Right. I mean, I couldn't even make it through it. Other than the name people in there, that was about it because the writing content, in my opinion, it just wasn't as good as it could. Yeah, it just, you yeah, know. The writers aren't that great. Here, here's my problem with, with and I, I've i talked about this briefly, but my, my, my biggest issue with movies these days is that s series have spoiled me. Like, I just feel like I'm much more of a series watcher now than I am a movie watcher. I like a good film. I just started a new series last night that I didn't realize William Gibson had a hand in. Um, it's on Amazon, The Peripheral. And it's off to a pretty good start, but I, it was, I was watching it off and on. I was trying to get through it. It was a long first episode. But I feel like, even as I'm watching it, I'm like, this is going to be a much better series than it would have been a movie like a movie they would have rushed through everything character development this that and the other thing just to get to the end and that i feel i'm not saying the era of filmmaking is over but i, I feel for a lot of the storytelling you know the we're in a golden area a go, a really a truly golden era for storytelling with these streaming services right everyone's fighting for attention and netflix in my humble opinion 
Netflix has yet to figure this out. Netflix used to rule the roost, but now the onus is on them. Like they're all like, people are not subscribing. Uh, we need to cut off multiple access. You know, we can't share passwords anymore. You can't do this. You can't do that. And like, yeah, that's, well, but I was like, maybe I you know, well, I don't know if it's that's security. They shouldn't have let it happen in the first place, but like if they would just spend more time and attention and budget on good content, this wouldn't be a question. There'd be like, no questions whatsoever. Like, it's good content. And I'm finding that from other services that are spending the budget uh, on on good programming, right? And doubling down. I'd rather have one or two shows a month that are good than the Netflix model where they just spam the hell out of you with, like, trash. Mediocre. Yeah. And not, you know, not even mediocre. Um, the Watcher, I thought, was pretty decent. It was it was Netflix good. I'll say that. that 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 It was Netflix good. Where you know right. watched it, you know it was enjoyable, but that to me. No, I, I agree. I really the streaming like Amazon has been hitting yep. it. HBO Max, they've been yep. tearing it up. Yep. Disney's been tearing it up. Yep. They have their you know you have some people canon that had some issues with some of the internal, but for the most part is just sitting down to watch. It, it's entertaining, and and that's what I want. I don't you know <laughs> if it's you're not going to be 100 percent right because. I, I hear it at work all the time because a lot of I do have a few that are canonists for uh, Lord of the Rings. Oh right! And about how Tolkien was this and Tolkien would have never that. And right. Tolkien, it's like, but it was just a good watch. Yeah. But I'm not going to do it because that's leading into it, and I'm like, okay, have fun. <laughs> you know, I I'm not um, I'm not someone who I guess for for a lot of that lore. I mean, I grew up knowing of Lord of the Rings but not from the books uh, if any of the books that I would have read would have been the contemporaries like from C.S. Lewis The Chronicles of Narnia so even the the movies when they made them they uh, I mean I enjoyed them but I, I wasn't like going back and saying oh this this wasn't this this wasn't that uh, I enjoyed mm -hmm. them and I feel like you know just letting it having that creative license I don't I, I'm the type of person where was it done well does it does it fit like, is it, does it stick out like, or does it stick out like, stick out like a sore thumb? And I didn't find right. that at all with, it took a while for me to get into uh, the Rings of Power. I'm like, okay, I'm going to stick with, you know, this is good. This is good. But by the time I got to the end of it, I'm like, okay, this is really good. Yeah, I really, it became like, a, like C on Apple TV. I don't know if you've watched C, but um, if it's you have it. I, I give it two thumbs up. You should see it. it. One episode good. in, and I'm just like, I'd seen ratings for it, and I avoided it. I'm like, oh, it, it didn't rate well. I'm like, okay. And then I'm like, well, you know what? I'm paying for Apple TV anyway, or TV Plus. Let me give it a shot. And I'm like, first episode, I'm like, I I like this premise. Not to mention, uh, uh, David uh, uh, David uh, uh, Hewitt. Um, he's uh, he goes by Tech Banditry here on uh, on Twitch. He streams on Twitch, and David is Tormata in C. So you can actually watch David and his character Tormata in C and then like the next day hang out with him in his stream and then That's like legit. he's he's rated he's rated maker deck like he was on this channel before uh when we were raising money with Barnacles for Gimpy God uh, a, a few months ago. So it's really cool okay. to see like oh God, we know that guy. Oh, this is pretty <laughs> cool. So that's that's Famous. that's the only reason you need to watch C right there. Yeah, C was C was really good, and uh, I like a lot of stuff Jason Momoa plays in. He he does really well, uh, and then you know like Game of Thrones and stuff like that as well as what he's done for the Mar or uh, not Marvel. Uh, no, not that. I gotta just the standard movies, not like yeah. Uh, his off the wall ones like there was one he did with Sylvester Stallone I can't remember the name but that was really good but it was a Netflix movie at the time yeah um, see ne ne but... Netflix <laughs> uh, okay so, by the way Jace2571 loves David Hewlett such a good dude he is he's a really good dude um He's on. He he's also here on on Twitch. He uses. I, I want to say he uses Streamyard. I don't think he uses the Twitch console directly because I think he multi multi platform streams. Right. Uh, which is always frustrating to people like me. Like, well, just stick to one platform so I know where the hell you are. Like, it's just easier. You said David David Hewlett, right? Hewlett, yeah. And he's uh. Let me see. Oh, let me get... from Stargate. Yeah, from Stargate. He's here on Twitch. Yeah. 
Um, here, yeah. I think it's no. I follow, follow him on uh, Twitter. Twitch. Oh, you follow him on Twitter. Okay. His... He, here's yeah. his yeah. Here, let's here shout out. It's a Twitch username. Yeah, I, I'll shout Doctor McKay, Rodney <laughs> McKay. You can't see this is a big Stargate house here, so everything. Never watched I mean, it. We watched apart from it. the movie. I, I want a new movie, all right? I'd watch a new Stargate series. I'm not sure I could watch, go back and watch the old ones. I mean, I, I don't think I could do that. No. Me personally, no. Well, <laughs> you know, they kind of, when they went into universe, they kind of just lost everybody. So, but uh, up to, you know, if you watch the Stargate series for itself, honestly, if you watch Ancient Aliens on Friday on History Channel, it's almost everything matches up. It's all really, you know, <laughs> good splash, See, I, Fire I, Von Daniken mix up. I, I, I love a, I love watching those shows. Diana put, uh, had me watch. So, Diana, okay, Diana, I'm going to do it. I'm going to say it. We were, she, she said the other night, I was like, you want to watch something? Let's watch a show together. She says, we can watch Unsolved Mysteries. I'm like, uh. She says, no, no, no. So she pulled it up on Netflix, and it was the alien one. There was, like, something on Lake Michigan or whatever. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm into that kind of thing. That, that's cool. And uh, um, so we watched it, and then the next day we were talking, and she says, did you know there's an older – Un, un, unsolved mis- I guess some older un, unsolved mysteries and like I looked at her I'm like are you for real <laughs> like do you really not know like this is basically are you serious so yeah she didn't know about the original <laughs> unsolved mysteries I was like oh man I just she just like three gay three gray hairs just popped right out of my head when she said did you know about the old unsolved mysteries so yeah I like the ancient alien theories um better, I, I, what's that they're better. <laughs> the older versions, I think, not even. Oh, the unsolved mysteries. I yeah. They I, I this one episode seemed very, very, very produced, um, and I I kind of I mean I, I'd watch them, but like I I, I like I I want to I want to watch like a documentary style. Like uh, Magellan TV is like a documentary. In fact, I link I sent that link to Diana. We we got like a three month trial or something to a documentary streaming service, and I'd rather you know have a whole series of stuff to watch than just one episode. I don't know, for some reason, my attention span sticks for a longer series than like an Unsolved Mysteries, like half hour, wham, bam, you're done, you know? So I don't know, I think my tastes have changed in terms of uh, how I enjoy stuff. That happens just... when you get old, you know that, right? It, is it? I think that's my problem, I'm getting old. <laughs> that's my That's my number one problem. What was that, Josh? Yeah. I was going to say Robert Stack, when he hosted the show for Unsolved Mysteries, he had such a phenomenal voice. He made that show what it is. Robert Stack. Yeah. He was still alive. Voice. These people exploded, and no one knows why. If you have any information, <laughs> call the number below. You, you can actually... Robert Stack, yeah. You, you can see yeah. his silhouette, and I saw that in, in the intro, you could see Robert Stack's silhouette at the, like the tail end when they were showing the, the title. Uh, and I, I pointed to the screen. I said, Robert Stack! And Diana, I probably had no idea. She probably thought I was having a seizure or something. I'm like, she didn't, she clearly did not know that this was an old show. It's a good tribute to it. Yeah, it's, it's like, good. Uh, what was it? The uh, the Outer Limits. That's oh, another one. That's that a good one. Yeah. I remember, I didn't Mine watch was the all pig of them. People. I don't remember the face, but all the pigs, the people had big faces and they were off. Was that, her. was that, uh, uh, that was Twilight Zone, wasn't it? Or was that Outer oh, Limits? I'm sorry. Yeah, but Outer Limits yeah, yeah. was good too. But yeah, you're yeah. right. That was Twilight Zone. You're that was Twilight right. Zone. Sorry. Getting them Pig. all. <laughs> well, they were, I mean, back then, you know, they were, you know, those, those, it would have well, been Outer Limits Zone and, and Twilight Zone. That was about yeah. it. Twilight Zone. <laughs> yeah. Alf. Al- Alf is ready for... I, I feel Alf is ready to come back. I feel. He follows me. The real In Alf follows form? me on Twitter. Did you any more te- or tweets on Twitter? <laughs> you, if, if, I, if I find something that, like... And I've, I've d- debated doing this. Like, if I find something Alf, I'll t- I could take a picture and then tweet at him and I could get accelerated probably... But uh, no, he's he, the, the the account behind it is, is not doing much. Alpha, just like how he came back in pog form this time. He'll come back in pog form, three uh, D printed form. <laughs> is there is there a good three D is there a good three D model of Alf? Actually, here I, this is what I want to do. I gotta hey, write I'm a down. Trekkie. I want to write. I want to write down a couple things. I want to ping uh, Play Action Toys, who makes the figures that I love. Ask him for Alf. 
and like um, it's back. In, yeah, Maximilian. <laughs> I wanted to print like an Al figure. Um, I bet I'm you thinking... it's probably the Al Pog watch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mondashawan, I wanted a Mondashawan figure. And garbage pail kids, oh Dude, my god! You know me and garbage pail kids. I'm down. <laughs> that and the scratch and sniffs. Remember, everybody used to bring their sticker books in, and it was oh, like yeah. just thinking everybody that's all the smell. I do remember that. Bye, Groganon. Groganon's heading out. See ya. Oh, take care, Groganon. And and actually, I may be wrapping up soon too. I'm going to continue watching the peripheral. And eating yeah, pepper no, I've, we've seen fun. that on there. We, that's actually on our list to watch. The peripheral? We We're waiting on the finale for uh, House of Dragons. I oh, see, right. I want to see if they're going to go into where Damon ends up. Yeah. You know, so, it, House of Dragons, that, it, it, I fell into the whole Game of Thrones feeling again, but it was kind of like, it didn't feel right, but it started to feel right. Like, tour, as we were, like, as, as, as each episode dropped... I feel it. It is. It is taking me. There's some. It's like it's weird. Like there's some series that I'm like, first episode, I'm in. I'm sold. And then other series, I'm like, I'm gonna give it a little bit of time, and by the end of that season, I'm just like, okay, I'm in. I'm sold. So it's just weird yeah. how it works that way in every genre. Every genre. It's weird. Well, you also had to think how the last season of Game of Thrones ended. A lot of right. people were very worried how this one was gonna start. Well, so. they better not make the same mistake. Yeah, that's exactly. What they, like. I may, hope not. You, Here's what's gonna happen. Here, here's my prediction. Uh, at the end of House of the Dragon, what's gonna? Ha here's what's gonna happen. This is my prediction. It's true. There's gonna be a portal that's gonna open up, and Daenerys comes flying through, and she says, <laughs> "Wait, wait, <laughs> stop, no!" <laughs> like, and then, and then we're gonna have like a. It's gonna be like Highlander three, where it's like stricken from canon. I like the whole Game of Thrones episode, and then they end up, you know, rebooting the final season. Well, maybe that wasn't the final. Let's do a, another final season of Game of Thrones, right? And I don't know. That is obviously we know the <laughs> with Jon Snow too. So there's got to be something else. Yeah. I think that's when. Yeah. The other one, uh, I don't know if you ever got into it, was uh, The Last Kingdom. They're actually getting ready to do the movie. Will be coming out next year. Uh, the I don't think I have. Death of a Five Kings or whatever. I think seven it's kings. Seven Kings. Seven Kings Must Die. Yes. The Last yeah. Kingdom. What's that That's on? That was on Netflix there for a while. That was good? the one that had uh, Uhtred Ragnarsson. It was good. You know, it was really good. It got way better as he got in the second and the third seasons. It was kind of the same time as Vikings came See, out, I, and it I was think, like competing with Vikings. Wait a minute! I and, think I did watch that then, because it was like a Viking show yeah. about Eric Eric Christensen. Was that the one, or is that maybe I'm thinking something else? Was that it? No, you're right. No, you're right. No. It was a he had a red right. beard. I can't remember if it was one season or three. I think I watched. No, that it. would have been right. He would have been in there. So Hang that on, was Ragnar himself. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Let me let me look here. The last. But Can it's five ahead. seasons. They're getting ready to do the movie, which will wrap up after the five seasons in. So it's a really good show. I recommend if you haven't seen it before, check it out. Okay. Yeah, I don't think really I've seen this one. I, yeah, I don't think I've seen this one. It's got some history with it, but I mean, some of it's kind of it to fit it. But not as bad as Vikings did it, where Vikings took a thousand years and shoved it into, you know, nothing. 50 yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. So this is on Last Kingdom. Looks like it says on Bravo now. Like, who has Bravo now? Um, <laughs> well, it was on Netflix. Kingdom. I guess they must check it out. I wonder. I wonder. Well, hang on. Uh, it's on. Watch. Oh yeah, Netflix. It is. Watch now on Netflix. I just go to Google and, and search for it, and it'll tell. Oh, it jumped. I, I literally searched for it. it. Jumped right into it, like uh, the Last Kingdom. Okay, well, I guess that's now on my list of things to watch after I get through these these other things. Yeah, check it out. I because I'm I'm always in between shows anymore. Like I need a new show. Like I need to, to fill the gap. Like you yeah, have to wait. So you get one binge. that you like that takes right. your attention. Right. <laughs> Yeah, wise with knives. Don't do that. Yes, okay, I, come I will home avoid and she's it. She's watching wise with knives, and she's got a notebook. And I all know. This, and I'm that's like, what are you yeah, watching? that's Diana. Diana with all these murder mysteries. You know, like oh, you know, this person died, and I'm like, why that? Why do you watch this stuff? And Diana's like, I'm doing research. Research on what? Well, I'm trying to protect. You know, How just in case. I'm like, what do you mean, just in case? What is this, just in case? 
<laughs> you literally we watch and see Dream what they that. failed to print. do properly. We know what not to do. Oh my god, is Diana exactly. still listening? Don't you and Royal know me, Diana. You and Royal know me can commiserate on these shows, apparently. Because she's like, no, it's about being 24 years of marriage. I know what comes next. Okay, I'm just being prepared. <laughs> She tells me as long as the, the life insurance is paid and her bills are paid, she gets a check. She don't care. Yeah, that's the way it goes, <laughs> man. 3D printers. 3D that's printers. what we're good for. Exactly. <laughs> uh, She's already mad at me because I didn't get her a bamboo. I ended up getting her the uh, Cobra Max and then I got her the Cobra Go, but it's not a bamboo. So see, how many Since, since we'll that day, her, her, her shows of watching those things have doubled, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Taking more notes. How many 3D printers do you have in there? Uh, 11. 11. Right 11. Down, nice. Yeah. We, we're down one. Yeah, yeah we're down one. Oh. The one that uh, we gave up for the, the giveaway printer. We ended up right. giving, that, giving that one up. So, so yeah. We're, we're, we're down yeah. one. We're wow. down one, and we're arguing over the next one. I, I'm debating resin. Over here. I'm debating resin. I'm debating. We got a resin that sits there, but she keeps asking questions from everybody. And I've just done FDM, and yeah. with everything going on, I don't... It's more to learn, and I, and I got it. I probably should because if people, you know, because they come to the stream and they want to learn, and I should have at least some answers to it. But she's wanting to get into it, so she asked the questions with like Titans Revenge yep. and stuff like that um, to the help of people to get to it. And when we finally get the correct setup, she's gonna start resin printing. Yeah, nice. <laughs> See, I'm just I'm I'm wait I'm I there, I'm maybe I'm waiting for a dummy proof resin experience or like the like a prusa mini version of a, of, a, of a resin printer right and, and and then maybe it's like all right i'd give it a shot because there are a lot of models out there to be like dude that would look great but like getting to that point i'm just not there at least not yet yeah i'm not there yet i'm not there yet i'm still yeah. asking a lot of questions like i want to know how many prints do i get out of one bottle of resin right that crap's expensive yeah yeah it is it's very expensive now now the trek nerd see any cubics putting out a new one that's supposed to be like in 8k or something i don't know any of the lingo when it comes yeah to that's that. higher so. higher resolution uh, the Trek nerd yeah. says, and he'd be the person to, to ask a lot of these questions, uh, Royal Nomi. Uh, uh, he's got two resin see. printers, and he does full-on models and everything. Now, now, Josh, you've only got one printer, too? Or you're just a single? Yeah, but my, yeah. Well, my printer's at work. I don't have a printer at here, right. so that's why I said you guys had beat me by 11 printers, because I oh. don't have one here at home. Right. Oh, I'm hoping to get one pretty soon. <laughs> But no, my work printer is pretty good. It's it's a Flash Forge Creative Pro 2. So well, show up next week print. onto our stream for the giveaway. You can get another printer. It's a fully clipperized Ender 3 with full micro Swiss hot end and all that. Wow. Find where to put it in here. So there y'all go. Yeah. And by the way, sorry, you Jace. In the corner. Oh, yeah. You got space. Huh? Make space. You can make space. Trust me. You yeah. can make space. There you go. Uh, you don't need the bed. <laughs> no, who, who needs sleep? Uh, Sleepy. Some like people, sleep. some people sleep on the floor intentionally. Uh, Jace, if you're still there, thank you uh, for for popping in and, and saying hello. I, I did not, was not ignoring your your comment about being a fan. Uh, it, it, it is appreciated. Jace maybe may have popped off by now. A Westry one. This has uh, been I'm, really fun. This yeah, no, fun. thank you. I'll be uh, I'll be opening up requests. I'm thinking potentially every night just to you know, spend some time with with subscribers in these shows because why not? Like it's, it's, it's an easy thing to do. It's a fun thing to do. Keeps the conversation going. Well, and well, you is, never that's been fun. This has been a fun interaction, and I, I, hopefully for the people watching, it's been fun. I I like this setup, and uh, I'm trying to figure out how to find it on mine if I have it. Oh, as soon as you, you, you like, it, it'll be on your dashboard. It'll show up specifically on the dashboard, and it should be rolling out pretty quickly. At? Was it on the? You're did it in just your. Pop up yeah, it just popped up. It says, "Hey, you can now do." I didn't even know it was rolling out. Uh, hey, you, you can now do guest now star, and then it, it steps you through every every bit of the process. So now, was did it pop up when you went live or before you went live? Before it showed that. Before it showed okay. me when I connected yeah. the first time that it yeah. was, he was doing. Well, something maybe because I've got Chrome now, and I'll log in here on Chrome. Uh, I might be able to see it. That might have been it. Yeah. 
that might have been it. I was using uh, Firefox, and yep. that's why it kept telling me, and then I went to the other. Yep. So I, I'm going to log in and check that and see if maybe that's the, the deal. Westry! So, that's hi, Westerly. That's Sarah. <laughs> well... We're going to get off here and let somebody else if they want to get yeah. in here. And uh, it's yeah, been fun. And... We don't have any other requests right now, but I, I'm about ready to, to pop off to go watch watch my programs. I'm going to I'm gonna try to finish the episode of The Peripheral. Um, and I don't know if I'll be starting anything else, but I'll, I'll put, I think, Last Kingdom maybe the next on my list, if only because they've fleshed out so many seasons. So thank y'all. Yeah, for, let me know. Popping in. Yeah, there you go. His Maker Deck shirt. Ah, <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> Mine's been ordered. Yeah, we ordered hers, so she'll have hers. Nice. <laughs> well, thanks but, again. Uh, yeah, a, yeah hey, guys, thanks. Fun. Everyone have a good one. Take have care. Stream. Bye. I don't. Oops, sorry. Wait. I'm I'm learning how to I'm learning how to do everything. Oh. Uh, that's how that's how it goes. Okay. I I'm. It worked, and the bamboo is done. Uh, for, for now, I've got. I'm gonna do another Cali Dragon. Tomorrow, I'm going to try to run through the rest of this filament safe project as Cali Dragon One on the desktop. And do 2x. I have these. I have these different shortcuts. Like when I save a file, like a, a 3mf file, it's the name, and then to, sometimes even down to the printer. Like if I uh, bamboo, I always put bamboo in the title, and then like. At 2x or 200% or like 200% uh, or, uh, or RTP for ready to print, meaning it's ready to go. Uh, so that way it's easy enough and I can close the, the window. And then when I open it again, it, it'll, be, uh, it'll be there. So thanks again, everybody, for, uh, for joining and, and experimenting with me. Uh, we'll do it again. I'll, I have no problem opening, uh, opening that up and bringing in guests. I, I, uh, Diana should be able to join from her Chromebook. One of these nights, that'd be kind of cool because she's. I mean, Chrome, Chrome OS should work for it. Uh, I do want her. I, I do want to, to try that with her because it'd be kind of cool to do a show with with Diana on her screen, right? Versus the way we do it now, um, you know, or the way we had done it before. It'd be cool to, to bring her in again if, if she's down uh, with that specifically. Uh, we've got. Who, who could we rate here? There, there's a few people doing various things. We've rated a few of them in recent weeks. Uh, so if anybody's got any recommendations specifically, because everybody I see, apart from Vile Mods, we have not rated Vile Mods, and he's working on, what is he doing? Fire Wrap Modeling, and uh, he, he's a supporter of Maker Deck as well. Subsector we've rated recently. So, I'm thinking Vile Mods, because we have not rated him in a while. Astro Canuck, we have also rated recently. Although I love Astro Canuck. If you go to Astro Canuck, Canuck Stream, Lurk. Just go and bang Lurk, because then Homer goes into his beard. It's awesome. It's the best. All right, we're going to be rating. I'll be on Maker Deck uh, for my overnight prints. Thank you, everybody. We're, uh, every night, I believe we've got a new thing. We'll, we'll, do, we'll, we'll I'll open it to all subscribers. All subscribers can uh, uh, join me in video, and we can rotate. You know, as as, as time kind of goes on, and, and depending on the queue and depending on conversation. Uh, so there's a new benefit, a new bonus for for subscribing to this channel is that uh, nightly hangouts. Because why not? Keeps things going, especially on. I mean, like depends on the night and how busy things are, but we'll we'll, we'll accommodate. Oh, we'll figure it out. So. Feel free to turn on the webcam, or if, if, even if you don't want your camera, uh, is eventually I'll be, be able to just bring people in by audio as well, not just camera. So we're going to be raiding over to Vile Mods. He's got a wonderful work setup, like a wonderful maker setup over there. Uh, and so I know you'll be uh, you'll be at home. He, he's not a stranger. Uh, he, we've known each other. Uh, we're, we're in each other's orbit, certainly. So uh, feel free to use the uh, M deck. Raid emote. That's the new short shortcut. M deck, not Maker D1. That's dead. M deck, M deck is the new shortcut. Uh, so use all those. Monsoon Josh has got. You must have a macro going on there, or the Tuscan Raider emote. Here we go. I love you. I appreciate you. But at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices. And may the force be with you always. See you on Maker Deck, and thank you for hanging out tonight. Wonderful to have you here. <laughs> There we go. And now...